What's going on, YouTube? It's a week in review, and I'm giving it to you like I said I was every Friday. I'm going to try to do it every Friday because, you know, y'all ass get paid, so y'all be wanting to, you know, splurge and go out and shit. So let me go and give you a little kiki before you head out and get your um, party on, do whatever the fuck y'all want because I'm staying my ass in the house. I got to go to drill this weekend tomorrow morning, and I don't feel like going to that bullshit, but ugh, I just don't. So let me go and go in. Kane Carter. Kane Carter, you lying ass, scoundrel ass dog. You dog, you dog. You'll never win when you're dirty, honey. You'll never win. Kane Carter is a YouTube personality that has been doing YouTube, and he has amassed 600 and something thousand subscribers on YouTube. Over millions of views. 100,000, almost 100,000 followers on Twitter. I mean, just doing a damn thing with somebody else's material and a dead man material at that. Kane Carter, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed that you took that man. I'm a, like, it's nothing worse than stealing from the dead. Like, you don't have any respect. You stealing from the dead, boo. Like, damn. Damn, Zeddy. Like, it's fucked up. Kane Carter, I'm so, and he's been stealing from Patrice, the late Patrice O'Neill, who's a very funny guy. He currently goes off. I watched some of his videos before I did this video, and he just been going in. I think I've seen him a couple of times on VH1 or MTV or something. I can't really remember, but um, I'm gonna put the link for all the for all the stuff on the box so y'all can get y'all live and find out. And Black Twitter attacked the shit out of his ass, and then he tried to fix it by putting a YouTube video talking about something that he um. A very funny guy and all this kind of stuff, and he got some material, and he just felt like he uh, he uh, um he used it and used it for his own and all kind of stuff. And it, the video was titled "Righteous" and uh, some shit courageous. I don't know. Can't call you full of shit. I'm gonna tell you how you full of shit because the man clearly said that you know he referenced Elvis Presley taking folks you know black folks shit and making his own. Like it was some good shit Elvis did, but he still stole it, and he didn't agree with that. Like. And that's what the fuck you did. You and not only did you not, you did not paraphrase this shit. Like you did not paraphrase it at all. So I don't think you you must not have never had no school, no high school, no shit. And if you go in on my ass on YouTube video, I really gonna give a fuck. Please send them followers my way. But they probably ain't gonna be checking for your ass after they find that you a fraud in that way. But Kane Card, I was I was rooting for you. We all were rooting for you, and you failed us miserably with a dead man's jokes, and you never referenced him, period. That's just like if I started my video and said, Maya is laid like Kane Carter, bitch. You all would look at me like, that's somebody else's shit. I can't use somebody's shit verbatim. Now, I might say my hair is laid, and I might say some shit, but I'm going to credit Funka Dineva. Y'all know I'm a big Funka Dineva stan. And I give him credit. I live for Funka Dineva. But if, bitch, I came on this motherfucker with a wig and uh, and going off and reading the shit out of motherfuckers, and, uh, well, which I do anyway, but I have to put my own spin on it. Of course I use my hair as laid. Of course I use Yes God. But Ver the, the Dineva has already verified your boy Justin J for using Yes God and all that kind of stuff. So I can. But I would never, I can't, I can never be Funky Dineva because it's just something about him. I can only be Justin J. Funky Dineva is very talented in what he does. And I cannot, them are some big shoes to follow. So the only thing I can do is try to design my own shoes in my own eyes and try to wear them up next to him so we can tap dance together, okay? And give y'all a kiki. So, I mean, Kane Carter, you full of shit. Like, I mean, you should have been, If I felt like if you would have gave him recognition and said, this is where I get my material, I look up to him, and then you did it. But you still didn't paraphrase it. Like, you just took it all. Bitch, you expelled from college. Just drop out. No God. Like, I mean, that's very, that's ground for dismissal. Like, I, I and I, and I, I don't, I still, I don't think you're going to lose. I don't think it's going to be a big hit. But I think you're going to deal with a lot of shade and a lot. And I don't see you coming back with no videos, period. Because they know your material. So you have to go back to the drawing board or the um, the Google engine search and search somebody, another dead person's shit and give it to her. Honey, steal some mine so we can have something to talk about, honey. Take some of me and Dr. Eva, son, yes, God, so we can get more, some of your subscribers and shit. So anyway, moving on, I want to talk about um, Kane Carter, bug, Bugs Life looking at it. Speaking of Bugs, I have y'all not seen that. If you're not on Vine, your ass need to be on Vine. Vine is fucking hilarious. It will give you six seconds of your life, okay? Six seconds. Seconds. That's all it takes on Vine to get you your life. And Vine is shitting on Instagram. I don't care what nobody say. Vine is shitting on Instagram. Instagram is just I, I can't. I don't Instagram when it comes to Instagram. They have the videos. It's just not. It's not. It's not original. It's just 
I don't like it. I hate it. Because some of y'all will be doing these buying video, I mean, um, Instagram videos. The shit that'll be fun to be stupid as hell. And it's easier to find the ones on Vine. Like, it's easier to find and all that kind of shit. You can tell who's verified and who's real and stuff on um, on Vine. So, let me go and get on that, on the Vine shit. Baby was a Vine one. So this black guy was in the damn... He was in the bathroom talking. He was like... Uh man, get it, man, go on, get a little nigga his ball back. And a big ass motherfucker roach ran across that motherfucking do rag hunt. I thought the police was chasing that motherfucker. I thought he had a warrant. That bug flew across his ass, flew across his ass, baby. And then he stopped the video and redid it. He's, and he took that damn do rag off. He said, Damn, y'all see that big ass son? Y'all see that big ass bug on me? I didn't even see that shit. Girl, a bug. No, ma'am. That was not no damn bug, nigga. That was a fucking rich. That was a rich. And that motherfucker was looking for something to eat on your damn do-rag. If a roach is that comfortable to run across your damn do-rag, you got an infestation. Okay? You got a damn... If a roach is that comfortable, well, he, he ain't scared of your ass. Man, this nigga doing a video. I want to be on your video. And run across your damn scat, like, your do-rag. And, baby, he took that motherfucker off so goddamn quick. I just ain't never seen a roach crawl on a human being like that shit was disrespectful. That was a very disrespectful ass roach, and I was just not here for it. I was just not here for that roach at all. She just zero fucks. Zero motherfucking fucks, honey. And Gabriel trying to read me, bitch. I'm going to call you later, honey. I called you to answer the phone. But that big ass motherfucking roach ran across his ass. That motherfucker was child. She was speeding, honey. And they put, and somebody put a picture up of a, a cop car following that motherfucker. <laughs> that shit, <laughs> funny shit. Oh, ah. So y'all see that big ass rock bug on me, girl? That was a roach, riches. You got riches, riches. Um, but moving on swiftly and professionally, let me go and get on Miss Ariel Ariel Castro. However you fucking say that. If y'all know who Ariel Castro, is, you need to turn on the goddamn news like I've been saying. Ariel Castro is the guy who had them girls locked up. In the house for 10 years and had a baby with them and raping them, all kind of shit and just a bunch of bullshit. So he was on here begging for his damn life Thursday, begging for his damn life. I got so tired of shit, I turned this shit off and went to sleep. Girl, they're gonna, they gave you a th life and a thousand motherfucking years, bitch. You can be born again, die again, 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 and bitch, you will still be serving 30 more motherfucking years under them. you gonna die. And fucking be buried under the goddamn prison just to finish serving your damn time. Like, it's going to, the new dinosaur is going to have to come and remove your ass when your sentence is over. Like, it is just no, it's no excuse for that shit you did. It's just no excuse. You, and you talking about some, they had you do it because they drawed you in and you treated them nice. You didn't torture them. You kept them motherfuckers against their will. That's torture enough for 10 motherfucking years. Are you serious? And, and they had that girl having a baby and shit. And the girl was like malnourished. And I just, Ariel Castro, there is not a, hell is not going to be hot enough for you. And I can't judge you. You know, I can't judge you. But, uh, baby, you you wrong for that shit. I'm just going to say that. I don't know where you're going to heaven here because I ain't got nowhere to put your ass. But you wrong for that shit. You fucked up them girls' lives. And I hope they be able to move on past. They never probably never will. But, um. You torture their ass. You torture them mentally. And sometimes torturing you somebody mentally is worse than physically. Because you can... It takes more time to heal this than this. So, moving on. Speaking of, you know, touchy shit. Sissy Houston read, um, had an open letter to her daughter. Uh, I mean, to her granddaughter, Bobby Christina. Bobby Christina just... I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I and in the open letter, Sissy was just saying, I love you. I never said anything ill about you or your relationship. I don't want to get you, I don't want you to get married because I'm your grandmother. I don't want you, I don't think there's no man perfect enough for you. And she does not, she was saying she don't want the world to take her away like you know they did Whitney. And and sissy, your mama, your grandmama has some, she has some wisdom. And you need to pay attention to that. Like you, if you don't, if you're not checking for your grandma, because I don't know what's going on, something might happen where you're not checking for her. But feed her with a long handed spoon. I don't, you know, too much talk to my folks like that. But I talk to them every once in a while when I feel like it, and I know when they call me, I talk to them. But I never just completely cut them off. I'm still like, it don't matter how much grandmamas and motherfucker up, you still, that's, it's still gonna be them. There's only one. You can't just cut them off. So you know, make your grandma happy. She, she's old. You know, don't do her like that. She's already been through hell and shit. 
And, you know, just to show her love. She ain't got nobody else. All the people she probably got are the people who want money from her ass. And, and quiet as kept from the tea I'm getting, uh, Whitney didn't even have that much money and coins left because she didn't own the rights to none of her music. But we're going to move it on. Raven Simone. I can look into the future. And we may be a breeze. It's travel from the distance. Yeah. But it's not that easy. You say. So I get a situation. When I'm in the misbehaving. That's so right. I love me some That's So Raven. I like. That was about the only Disney show I love. Raven Simone. Kudos to her. Because she has been doing the damn thing. For a long time. And she ain't like these other um, stupid ass actors and actresses and all kind of folks. All these crazy ass white girls who've been losing their damn mind and fucking on meth and on crack and on drugs and on them damn selves. All these crazy ass bitch Amanda Bynes. Um, all them, I don't know them hoes name. I don't really give a damn. Uh, Miley Cyrus twerking with that skeleton ass booty. It's just terrible. It's terrible, 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 terrible. Um... And Raven Simone's been doing a good job. So Raven Simone tweeted and said she can finally get married. You know, go government, all that kind of shit. Y'all, why? And a lot of gay people kind of going in on Raven Simone because she was coming out. Raven Simone don't owe us shit. She don't have to come out. She don't have to tell us she eat she a carpet month. She don't have to tell us she eat pussy. She want eat. That's her. If that's what she want to do, she can do that. Okay. I don't care what Raven Simone is doing. I don't care what she's doing in her bedroom. I don't. I can only care about what's going on in my bedroom. And ain't shit going on in my bedroom. Okay. So Raven Simone came out, and you know a lot, of, and I'm supportive of her. You know, girl, you don't have to tell nobody shit. You don't owe nobody no explanation about shit. So kudos to her. I'm checking for Raven Simone, love it to death. But who I'm not checking for? Apparently, a lot of other people not checking for. Well, her buy one get one free ass. Um, price match guarantee. Sierra motherfucking um, no selling records ass. Selling her damn album on um, Groupon for fucking um, dinner and a movie prices and shit. Get a, buy her album, get a dinner in the movie, get a motherfucking Redbox DVD, motherfucking uh, Netflix uh, free subscription for two months, and Blockbuster if you need it, and her damn CD. Like, damn, Sierra, like, damn, you is struggling. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. And you talking to the future, so I don't understand how you're struggling. You're sing you're you're singing about struggling and you're struggling. <laughs> you're singing about struggling and struggling. But Sierra, I, I mean, if that's what you got to do, you got to sell your shit on Groupon, girl. I mean, that's what do what you got to do, honey. Uh, I don't know, but you talking in future, so maybe y'all can collab on some shit. You you don't have a good history of talking to me and. Um, in the music business and staying with them, so that that doesn't look good. So maybe I need to do fuck or uh, have a baby or something. So we be checking for your ass. Well, have you and him have a sex taste so we can see future long ass dick and see if we don't have to eat pussy or something? Because future look like he know how to eat pussy. I'm just saying. But um, Sierra, girl, I hope something happens to you because you you barely um got to a hundred thousand um shit. So uh, so you know whatever. Um, I think that's about it. All the shit that happened. Um, did I talk about? Oh, Riley Cooper, Riley, Riley Cooper, Riley Cooper. This is the last thing I want to end on. Riley Cooper, uh, play for the Eagles. I don't know what. I don't know what. Y'all know nothing about no damn sports. I pretend every once in a while, just so you know, some guys would be interested in me. But um, Riley Cooper said some caught on camera for saying some racist shit to me. He, I'm kicking them niggers out. I can eat one of them niggers ass. So. A lot of people are pissed off about that. I really don't give a damn. You know, I, I, at, at this point, all these white folk and black folk who span can say whatever the fuck they want. I just really don't give a fuck anymore. Say faggot, say all the kind. Pop Son, one of the main ones. Pop Son on Twitter. Follow his ass. Pop Son on Twitter. Okay, I want all my gay friends to follow Pop Son because he be using the F word all the time. Yes, I'm putting your ass on black. Pop Son is straight, but he's a handsome, he's a handsome little guy, and he is funny as shit. He be tweeting some dumb ass. He's always talking about eating ass. He love women. He love eating women's ass and all this shit. He is crazy as fuck, and I hope he see this video and all that kind of shit. Pop Son, maybe one day in the future when I, I'm going to get high or get drunk with your stupid ass because you are a damn fool. And um, no homo because I'm not checking for you. Um, you handsome, but ain't nobody checking because you crazy as hell. And you be eating booty and eating girls' booties and shit and get um sprung. So y'all be nice to pop so don't go in on them too much. But uh just make him feel uncomfortable about following him and seeing, you know, the kids like him and shit. <laughs> but um shout out to my guy D. D 
had me just grooving the other night. He was sharing some um, old school ass music. And like D, I think D ain't what like 15, 16 years old. And he follows me on Twitter or something. He was sharing some old school music, and I was here for it. I was here for it, and he had me just grooving around and dancing and shit. Boogie Wonderland, y'all don't know about this shit. Boogie, um, fucking Earth, Wind and Fire, baby, that was real music, not that bullshit we got now, baby. That was real music, and I was getting it. Fantasy reasons. Um, I was listening to Cameo Skin I'm In. I didn't never understand the words to Skin I'm In because he was talking so goddamn funny, and Cameo be dress crazy as hell, but Cameo was talking about shit that's going on now. Like, skin I'm in, skin I'm in, skin I'm in. I don't know the words, but, you know, I, I can't remember them right now. But checking for them. Love them, love them, love them. Um, and I know the last video, y'all are like, what y'all saying? What's, what's going on? You know, you know, last video I did, it was called, you know, In My Fucking Feelings, and I was in my feelings. And if I offended anybody or made people feel uncomfortable, I do apologize. But I was in my feelings. I was angry and bitter this morning. And um, a lot of phone calls, a lot of support on the video, a lot of tweets and stuff. And I appreciate that so much. Um, Justin is not perfect by far. Y'all know I'm not perfect. You know, you know I give y'all some of my life struggles and let y'all know and, and talk and laugh about this shit. And I use humor to uh, make for therapy and shit. But, you know... That was just, I, I'm glad I got that off of my chest. I feel so much better. Like, I talked to some of my friends because, like, and and, and this made me feel good. Like, I'm glad I got that off my chest. I, like, I was really kind of hurting in the inside, guys. I was really hurting in the inside. And never think that I'm, I'm, I'm human just like you all. I, I, I go through shit, but I have a different way of dealing with it, you know. So, you know, don't judge me, honey. Just just pray for me. Just pray for me. Um, I love all my fans. I appreciate y'all so much, you know, for all your support, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of shit. I love y'all so much. Y'all just, you just don't understand. If it wasn't for some of you all, I would not be doing these videos. I promise you, I would not be doing this at all. So I appreciate y'all. And um, I end up talking to somebody um, special in my life who I've known for for years. A couple of people. Um, my girl Kristen called me. My girl Sabrina called me. Um, my new girl Jasmine called me. Just so many phone calls. Gabriel tried to call me, but it's too damn late. Rafael called me. Just like I talked to him and all that kind of shit. I just appreciate it so much. But um, I did talk to somebody that, you know, that I am checking for. And, you know, he... I was able to talk to him and tell him how I feel because I've never just realized and came out and just tell him how I feel. I just, I don't because I want to seem like I'm bitching. I don't want to scare him away. Sometimes he's a good guy, but I don't think if I'm not, I, I don't communicate and tell him how I feel so he doesn't know what to say. And I, I try, I don't like going in on bitching because I don't like to scare people. I don't like to scare people out of my life, but you know, he, he took it and he took it and he gave me some good feedback and positive and things going to get better. Things will get better. I will be better. But um, I love all y'all. Subscribe, like, share my video. Shout out to all the people who are not afraid to share my videos on Facebook. I appreciate y'all don't know how much love, I, I how much they touch my spirit when you all share my videos on Facebook and I can see like how many people do that because some people be sh scared to share my videos. Like some people are watch, but they they like watch in silence and stuff and they and they don't support me. And a lot of people you don't understand. Like, even though I curse and go in and sometimes some stuff I talk about is kind of you know a little bit out there, but some people can appreciate that, you know. And I appreciate some of y'all being warned and let people know that this might offend some people, but just watch it. You don't like it, just move on. And I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And um, my biggest dream, I'll tell you I want, I want to be able to meet my fans and my supporters. I want to be able to meet you all one day. I love y'all so much. And um, some people, I like, I be feeling so much that I, like I end up, I have to die. I have to have some kind of more than just, you know, comments. I have to talk to them more. So don't be scared to add me on Facebook. Do never be scared to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Everything is the same. Just enjoy Justin J1232. You know, look me up. And I love y'all so much. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Bye.